What's up, people? I'm back. I just got back from my Italian vacation, right? I know, dude. Look at this. I got a sick freaking sweater. It's 100% made in Italy. It's also 100% merino wool. I know, dude. Pretty sick. Dropped an unexpected, unexpected $700 on that. Honestly, I shouldn't. Shouldn't have done that. I, it, was, it wasn't just on this one, too. It was on, like, six or seven sweaters. Like, straight up, dude, I just walked into some place, and this dude just, he was just speaking all this crazy Italian stuff. He had me try everything on. He was fitting me. It was like a personal appointment, and it just felt, honestly, an, like an authentic experience, bro. And how are you going to do Just walk out of there without buying stuff. You know what I'm saying? So, like, honestly, i just been thinking about it, you know, gave myself a reason to throw on one of my new sweaters. I'm enjoying it, dude. It's a beautiful time to be back. Uh, here I am in New York City. Just got back uh, from this Italian vacation, like I told you. It was pretty sick. I recorded the entire thing, so you guys are going to see that here coming up soon. But I just, I just wanted to connect with you guys, you know what I'm saying? It's been a little bit. haven't really made a lot of videos. I've been gone. I've been traveling, you know what I'm saying? I've been out and uh, actually using my points. And I got to say, it's been a pretty good experience. Um, I just flew Emirates A380 business class. <sighs> that's a little overrated. I hate to say it. I'm not trying to be that guy. You know, I'm trying to be like, yeah, Emirates A380 business class, bro. Like that's overrated. You know what I'm saying? No, dude. Kind of is though. Like they were all, they were all like, uh, over customer servicing me. If you know what I'm saying? Like I'm the kind of guy that business class, right? I'm flying business class for one specific reason. And that's because I want to freaking sleep. I want to lay down. I want to sleep, right? That's the biggest thing that I was looking forward to. So here's the deal, right? The deal with Emirates, okay, it's not like a, it's not a big deal, but they were being really nice, right? And so I guess when you're spending $3,000 on a business class flight, you're probably gonna expect some nice things. I'm talking food, right? You're gonna get some delicious crab omelets, okay? Some things like that, right? And I got some pajamas and everything too. I got some sick pajamas. I don't know. They probably do that on other business class flights. I don't know. It's my first one. But I got all these wonderful, you know, stuff. I got all this wonderful stuff, you know what I'm saying? And it was nice, right? But the problem is that they just kept waking me up, bro. I want to lay down on my lay flat business class and go the frick to bed. I don't care. I don't really care about another, th another glass of champagne, right? God, it's freaking one in the morning. I just want to go to bed and my body is already screwed up from laying here, okay? And from being in this weird plane with no divider so everyone can look at me as I try to go to bed. <sighs> yes, I use Seat Guru to figure out which seat was the best. <laughs> it sounds like an ad. It's not. <sighs> like, honestly, I just don't think Emirates was like, you know, the hype it's lived up to be or something like that. Like, honestly, I'd rather just go to bed and wake up and somewhere else, right? I don't want to be woken up and all that stuff, but dude, that's no big deal, you know? I think people like that. It's not my thing. So what are you standing here then for, Jake? What are you doing talking right now? I don't know. You just got me open another tab, probably doing something else anyway. That's okay with me. That's kind of how I like it, you know what I mean? I mean, how the heck are you going to sit down and put this on your TV and just watch it, right? I'm not really the kind of guy to do that anyway. I don't watch YouTube or consume content that kind of way. I always halfway listen. So if you're halfway listening, halfway subscribe, dude. I mean, why not, right? It's free. I have nothing to say. I'm trying to think about what's next. Yeah, the trip went pretty well. Um, I mean, I got there, right? I got there and I stayed at four different places. I can't wait to show you everything, dude. It's gonna be sick, dude. I got everything recorded pretty much. I'm just such a weird vlogger though. I can't figure it out. It's really awkward holding a camera and having a bunch of people look at you. So that's why I do this weird thing in the stability and safety of my own apartment. But anyway, you know, I stayed in four places, all in Italy, except for one is in Switzerland. In Switzerland, you know, God, that freaking cop out there is pissing me off, dude. It's freaking loud. Switzerland's all right, bro. I got to say, it's way too expensive. If you're like the kind of guy that's, you know, I do care. Okay, so I booked four places, right? The first one was a Hyatt-centric Milano, super delicious place. It was really a basic-ass kind of place, you know what I'm saying? It's like by the train station, so it's pretty chill like that. Uh, Hyatt-centric, it's kind of not in the centric, if you know what I'm saying. I don't understand why they brand it that way. Like they're kind of, the Hyatt centric brand is supposed to be like in the center of the city, like in the freaking how you doing of the city. But honestly, I, I went to Montreal Hyatt centric, bro. I got to walk like 
30 minutes to get to anything fun and that was a little annoying and with this one in Milan I had to walk like another 30 minutes to get to the city center like the actual city center with the with the plaza and stuff like that you know what I'm saying like it was kind of frustrating dude I was by the train station which is you could call that the center, right? The train station in Europe, especially because every freaking European city has a train station and it's, it's kind of feels like it could be the center, but there's not really a lot of stuff to do around there. Right. I feel like it's more like the Duomo where the freaking, what is it called? The that's cool. Right. I mean, honestly, Hyatt centric, it went fine. Pretty nice, pretty clean. Actually. I got to say, then I left, I went on to somewhere else and I stayed in another Hyatt. I stayed in another Hyatt. It was really good. I stayed in a beautiful, oh my God, it's a beautiful Italian area, dude. Beautiful Italian views. See the wine regions, the wine country, bro. I'm telling you, I never even knew that I was so into this kind of thing, dude. I really loved the wine tasting, I have to tell you. I went out there and I tried all kinds of wines. I tried all kinds of delicious reds and delicious whites and it was just such a good time that my girlfriend and I, we bought two bottles and I forgot that I had one and I had to finish it all on the very last day because I didn't want to check my bag. I don't think it's worth it, okay? But it was a good time. Overall, very exciting. But honestly, I guess it wasn't as exciting as my category eight Hyatt stay, dude. Category eight, bro? Eight? Holy frick. Guys, have you ever stayed in a category eight? You have? Oh, yeah, dude, I wasn't that impressed either. Honestly, it was really kind of weird. I'm not going to lie. It's nice. I get it, right? Like, listen, I'm trying to tell you, it's nice to be fully in this, like, luxurious, this ultra luxurious environment. But I have to tell you, if you're someone who's not really a luxurious person, and I guess I kind of am, like, I'm wearing this merino wool sweater and stuff, and I like to live a little bit of a lavish lifestyle, I got to tell you, man, I got to tell you. A nice clean place with you know a good sized room uh, and nice people is is kind of all I need. I just don't feel like it's worth it to have a pillow menu or a turn down service or a fancy bar with people in there that look like they have a lot more money than you. You know, it just doesn't feel very welcoming. I pulled up there in, in shorts and a t-shirt, and I'm not really the kind of guy that's underdressed in Europe. I just was driving all day, and I wanted to wear a regular t-shirt. Not a, not a bad one, right? One of the, one of the ones you've seen in my video with the with little, like, the Ralph Florin on there. You know what I'm saying? That wasn't really bad. But I just pulled up in flip-flops and a, and a t-shirt, and it just felt a little weird. Like, I'm not going to lie. Like, everyone else has been super nice to me, right? But these people were wearing full gray suits. I'm talking gray and gray, and it was all buttoned up. So it was just a little weird. I was just a little uncomfortable. It was a Category 8 Hyatt, okay, which is the highest category on Hyatt's uh, partnership program, whatever the frick it is called, their, their redemptions, you know what I'm saying? The highest category. So it was cool. It was very expensive. It was like 45,000 points per night. Stayed at all these places for two nights each. So, uh, you know, I was just trying out lots of places, right? But this one, 45,000 points. I just don't feel like it was worth it, man. I'm not going to lie. You're going to see all this in my super epic vlog that I'm coming up with, but I just don't want to edit because I'm procrastinating. Yeah, it's freaking hard to edit that stuff, okay? And I don't want to hire anyone, okay? I like to do it myself. That doesn't matter. So, yeah, what's, uh, what happened next? Holy frick. Yeah, one of the best parts about being in Europe and uh, being kind of a car enthusiast, as I like to call it, is the ability to drive manual and to rent a six-speed Fiat 500 for super cheap. And that's exactly what I did. I got one <laughs> when I left Milan. I drove down to Piedmont region where the wine was. Then I drove up to Lake Lugano crossing the border, and I stayed in that beautiful but awkward category at Hyatt. It was super fun, dude. Then we drove all the way to Venice. So freaking sick. You got to tell me, I got to tell you guys, like if you haven't driven a freaking manual car, just ripping it through the towns, I'm not, I'm not I, the kind of guy that's going to go speeding or everything like that. You know, I'll do that on the highway. I'm not trying to injure anybody, but I just got to tell you, dude, it's so liberating to get out there. Just see it. You know what I'm saying? Just see it, be immersed into the culture, pull your car over to the side of the road and order a one euro espresso from a machine and then do some other things like get gas and pay inside. I don't know, dude, just meet random things and random people that are definitely really Italian out there. It was just a fun experience. I got it all documented. Yeah, I went to Venice next. So 
That's where I got this, honestly, dude. I promise you, did I get scammed? No, dude, I didn't get scammed. I'm, I definitely didn't get scammed. <sighs> I definitely needed these sweaters, right? Right? I mean, it's gonna be a beautiful freaking fall in New York, dude. I gotta look good, right? I got a plenty, plenty more sweaters and stuff that I, I'll show you in future videos. But honestly, I do think it's worth it. I, I went out, I went really far to the back. Like I'm talking the back corner of Venice. And if you don't know Venice, it's this city, man. It's a city built on a bunch of freaking sticks that are pounded into the ground on a marshy wetland, dude. So it's literally flooding and sinking and going underwater. And it's a wonderful time, right? It's a very wonderful time to be there. I had a good time there. It was honestly fun. I mean, walking around these little, little tight, beautiful little streets, dude. I used my three free nights from the Marriott Boundless credit card. Very good sign-up bonus. I got five free nights from that. I'm saving two for something else that you're going to see very soon. Or I might see you very soon because I am going to a special meetup here soon for the community. So if you're there, if you know, you know, I'll be there, dude. Um, yeah, what happened next? Venice. Yeah, Venice, Venice, Venice. I just want to say hi. See how you doing. You know, Venice was cool. I went to the back, bought some sweaters. Pretty fun. It's just a nice time, dude. It's a nice time getting out there. I flew British Airways with my British Airway Avios on the way home. Me and my girlfriend, you know, we keep it real like that. Start at the most luxurious and work our way backwards to the worst experience you can get. But it's okay, dude. I would not I would do it the other way. I would actually... The problem is like the pro the problem is you need to lay down to go to bed to get on the other side of the freaking Atlantic Ocean, right? You got to go to bed. But the problem with that is if you start in business class, dude, you're good and you have all these wonderful lavish resorts and beautiful beautiful category 8 Hyatt properties and all these other things like that in the beginning and then you work your way down to a 50,000 point free night award on a Marriott Bonvoy Boundless credit card that it sounds really good. I stayed at the AC Hotel Venice and it was fine. It was clean, but it didn't have a lot of the certain things. Like I didn't get free breakfast. I didn't get wonderful, amazing things. Like it kind of, I can't, I can't remember, but it just feels, it feels hard to come from business class and all that of wonderful things to come down to this AC Marriott Hotel and then to cap it off on all this, fly British Airways home. And I got to say British Airways, I thought would be a little bit better. The service, the people, wonderful. The planes, wonderful. But God, their technology sucks. Holy frick, dude. Their technology sucks, dude. Have you tried to use their app? It's so bad. I couldn't even book the freaking thing in the beginning when I was using my British Airway Avios to book the freaking flights way long ago, dude. It always says, hey, you have another tab open. Close it. It's just a bad technology stack. I don't understand what goes on in their heads, but their tech sucks. And I got to say, it was really frustrating to check in. It was so frustrating to use the app. <sighs> so annoying, okay? I had to book seats next to my girlfriend, switch seats around and pay for that extra. And it was so hard to figure it out. So it just sucked that that happened right at the end of my trip. I hope I'm not being dramatic. I just want to give you guys a little, you know, a little, little bit of voice out there. You know, I'm trying to give you a little bit of a, what goes on in the jig, Mary, your mind. I don't know, dude. I really don't know. Man. I'm just talking. I got you on a table for today. It's cool like that, I guess. I want to stand. It makes me feel a little more alive. I can't sit. I don't think I'm going to record sitting down anymore, but ooh, it's getting long. I'm going to go. See you. <laughs> Bye. I right, see you. Bye.